New Jersey is working to expand the Jersey Fresh program. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Local Edition. With me this hour is New Jersey Assemblyman Matthew Milam. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. Jersey Fresh is an important issue for your district and many other districts around the state. But talk to us a little bit about the importance of agriculture right here in New Jersey. It is a statewide very important issue and agriculture is you know where we're getting a lot of our food from you know the farmers are out there working very hard and the Jersey Fresh campaign is just a way to promote what we're very proud of here. We like to get our bordering states when people come and visit us we like them to know that we have this Jersey Fresh products and we just like to promote it very much. Okay we're called the Garden State and you're working on ways to promote that and grow the agricultural industry but in terms of an economic engine What's the significance to the state? How big is the industry? It's, it's very big. As far as numbers, I don't exactly have the numbers, but it's something that you never, ever just want to take for granted. It's very, very important to, you know, always let everyone know, you know, we are very proud. We are the Garden State, and we can never, ever do enough to keep promoting that to support our farmers and, of course, the workers that work for them and all the companies that are relayed, you know, to farming products. It's also interesting to know, even though the, the geography of New Jersey is not nearly as big as other states around the country, we are one of the top producers of agricultural products. We are. We're in the top 10 in the United States of agriculture, whether it's our vegetables, our fruits, our herbs, and it's a very nice you know, stigma to have, you know, that. All right. When we talk about Jersey Fresh, many of us have seen the, the Jersey Fresh shines encouraging people to buy locally and support local agriculture. We've seen them in supermarkets and at farm stands, but you have a piece of legislation that would actually expand this program to some of our other favorite treats. I do, and this uh, came about by a uh, guy that owns a bakery in Vineland, Steve Wilson owns Sweet Life Bakery, and he it uses products, uh, whether they're vegetables or even fruits, in his baked goods. And he contacted the Department of Agriculture, wanted to be a part of the Jersey Fresh campaign. They said, we don't include bakeries. So he contacted me and I said, well, this is an easy thing we could get done. We did a le piece of legislation, we called it Made with Jersey Fresh, to be a companion of the Jersey Fresh campaign. It's a great way to expand it and to show that, you know, he is supporting the local farmers and buying their products, putting it in there. And it's just another great way to just even help our small businesses as, you know, they are an economic drive as well to expand, use Jersey Fresh products and be able to very proudly promote Made with Jersey Fresh. And that's an important point because many people in shopping for produce, fruits and vegetables will look for that to support local agriculture, look for that Jer uh, Jersey Fresh sign where we start to see Made with Jersey Fresh signs as well. Yes, because not only is it, you know, the baked goods, but it also could be the restaurants, you know, they could advertise, you know, things on their menus or made with Jersey Fresh, whatever the seasons are, whether it's the strawberries or whether it's zucchini, squashes, or whatever dishes they're serving. Yeah, it is made with Jersey Fresh. And of course, including bakeries and other businesses that would like to be part of this, it's just a great, you know, promotional thing and far as an economic drive as well to help the farmers. Again, it's about supporting businesses, supporting businesses. Are there other ways in which the agricultural industry can better get the word out about what they're doing? You mentioned things like farm stands, restaurants promoting Jersey Fresh. We're starting to see more and more of them, uh, farm stands, even along the highways. Yes, it is very important. And to grab, you know, a much as much signage as you can, you know, if it's at our borders, at our bridges, and I, I believe that you know every bridge coming into the state, because we are an island, so there is a great entry point all over, and say you know we are Jersey Fresh and support our local produce stands, lo support our farmers, and support our bakeries now. Okay, and we are starting to see some of these farmer stands uh, at rest stops. Towns have them on the weekends, even throughout the week, really working to promote local agriculture. At what point could we potentially see some of these made with Jersey Fresh signs in supermarkets and bakeries? Well, we got it through the assembly and it went through at 79 to 0 on the votes, which means you have support on both sides of the aisle, which is very important. So everyone agrees. Uh, we're just waiting for the Senate to post it in their house and then we look forward the governor sign it. All right, thank you so much. You're very welcome. We've thank been you. talking with New Jersey Assemblyman Matthew Milam. I'm Jill Horner for Comcast Local Edition.